Oh man, it is so peaceful up here. Well, I'm going out for a run in the mountains and I figured I would uh, give you five tips that may be useful uh, in running in cold temperatures. Very cold temperatures, snow and ice on the ground, and I'm at the Blue Ridge Parkway, but I gotta tie my shoes, so. So back to the five tips for running in the cold. So I'm, I'm gonna start with the first one, which may be like a no brainer. Um, need to start my Strava, sorry. Because if it doesn't go on Strava, it didn't happen. So the first thing you wanna do before you do a run outside is check the weather. It is like, I, I think it's 22 degrees. I have a pair of gloves, they're not on my hands. I have a pair of shorts, BOAs, got for Christmas. Thank you, Amberly. I uh, have one um, Under Armour base layer deal, and then this windbreaker, it's my cycling windbreaker, and the only reason why is because of where I'm headed, there's gonna be a lot of wind. I'm a hot runner, so I generate heat very quickly. It's not that big of a deal for me to be out in sub temperatures. And last year, me and a buddy, Tyler, we ran when there was a snowstorm, crazy winds, and I think all I had was a base layer, a jacket, and I wore shorts. So anything for me, 40, I'm good with a t-shirt, long sleeve, get down a little lower, may need a base layer, toboggan maybe. So check the weather. Second tip, after you've checked the temperature and you've got your clothes set properly, one of the reasons why a lot of runners don't go out in the cold is because of the start. For that first five to 10 minutes of the run, it's miserable because your body has not started generating heat and you're just shivering. So I recommend something that I do is burpees. Like, you know, the things these you like, full body jumping jack, push up things. They're miserable but they get your heat, heart like and blood pump into all your extremities. They get your hands warm, they get your arms warm, get your legs warm, your core warm. And then when you go to step outside, you already are generating a little bit of heat. And by the time your body starts to produce that uh, energy from your legs, the heat from your core, from your arms, it's not that miserable. Just, just start with some jumping jacks. Jumping jacks, uh, push-ups, really burpees, whatever you wanna do just to generate a little bit of heat in your body so that way the first 10 minutes isn't miserable. Back to running. So tip number three, whew. as you can hear, I am winded, out of breath. And the reason why is, because that behind me was a little heel. And I love cold winter runs for that reason. In the summertime, running a heel just generates so much heat in my body that I'm like sweating at the beginning of the run, just feeling miserable. Not in winter. In a winter run, gosh, I, I do my best to get a heel in at the beginning. So get heels in quick. You'll get a lot of heat in your core, in your lungs. You start breathing heavy, start generating heat, swing your arms, create motion to get blood flowing in your extremities. Oh, now we're on flat and we're getting close. You don't get this opportunity a lot to be on the Blue Ridge Parkway when it's closed, just to have free access to the entire road. Before we get to point number four, which is a really important one, 
gosh, I love the viaduct. The Blue Ridge Parkway has this amazing road system. I'm actually headed over to that rock over there. That's called Rough Ridge. And so right around that corner is an area you can park or you can park down here and hike the backside and then hike it down and run around. I got pictures and videos of my kids two years old, three years old doing it. It's a short little lovely trail. The view is amazing. Anybody can do it. A stick, will that work? If you ever wondered how this happens, put the camera down, put the camera down, run away from the camera and then run back so I get forward and back. Here we go. Oh, and I've got a wireless mic. I don't know how far it's gonna last out, but run away from the camera. Oh, I just love the Blue Ridge Parkway. So tip number four, I waited till I was on the backside in the shade because tip number four is important about that. Pay attention to what is not generating heat. So my fingers and my toes get the coldest out of my entire body. My knees don't, my core, my stomach does. And that's why I've got this windbreaker on to just help stop the wind. But pay attention to your extremities. I have a pair of gloves that I brought because where I'm headed, it's gonna be a lot of wind. I may sit up there for a bit, just enjoy it. I also have a toboggan for that reason because your head will release a ton of heat and your goal is to keep it in or moderate it. I have this head unit that comes with this base layer. And at this moment, my God, I'm sweating. And this right here is damp. So just gotta be paying attention to your extremities and make sure you have something that'll just keep them warm. Rough ridge. Oh, I'm about to go up there. But first, I think I saw somebody, which if it's the case, they've hiked like, like four miles in. So I just wanna see. Oh man, what another treat. Uh, a dad and his two boys uh, hiking along the Blue Ridge Parkway. It's super, super, super cool. I was like, oh man, they're super nice. And uh, so it was a lot of fun. Listen, uh, super proud of them boys. They were like going after it with their dad. So uh, now we're on to Rough Ridge. And oh man, this trail is nice. So definitely, not gonna be fast, but definitely gonna be enjoyable. Oh man. <laughs> so, because there's not a car, oh God, because there's not a car, the only thing is a plane that just passed. You can hear everything and there's, it's gonna be tough to see. Uh, but right through there, uh, there's a boy running across the bridge um, because uh, there's his other brother standing at that edge. And so his dad's right there taking uh, photos. You can't see him, he's kneeled down. But because, uh, <laughs> because there's no noise, uh, man, you can hear everything. So we were just talking. Listen, boys, y'all be safe. I'm heading back to the trail. Now let's keep generating some heat. So here's a little bonus tip. One of the things that hurts cold weather runners at the end of their run, not during their run so much, but at the end is the extreme cold in their lungs. I have a very thin, human powered movement bandana that I have worn in cold weather, just my breathing out will warm that bandana and the air that's coming through it 
just warms up just a little bit. So I'm planning to go down the backside, which is extremely fast. Uh, but here we are at the top of Rough Ridge. So nice. So before I start to get too cold, I think it's time to head back down. Tip number five. I waited to do this one until after I had been up there <laughs> because this one, if you don't listen to any of the other ones, please listen to this one. Pay attention to your rest, stopping. So this layer generates a ton of heat, which for me, produces sweat. So sweat's good when your body's warm. But as your body sits there and cools, this outer layer becomes freezing. And I'm headed downhill. I'm not generating nearly as much heat as I did coming up. So I've been running every little part I can because my arms are popsicles. My hands are still exposed. They're not that bad. It's just this layer got sweaty and I sat up there in that cold wind allowing this base layer to cool so that way you can learn from my mistakes. <laughs> Because it is terrible. Jeez. Elbows are freaking hurting because they're so cold. back to the car oh man I didn't video any because my suit had gotten wet and I just had to generate some heat so oh, feel good now and like that this video is over I got an incredible run today on the Blue Ridge Parkway the closed Blue Ridge Parkway it was so peaceful and man a rough ridge is it's I love rough ridge it just has beautiful views nice punchy climb and uh man, it was a great time so if you ever get a chance come to rough ridge on the blue ridge parkway it's crazy crowded in the summer and if you ever get a chance to ride the blue ridge parkway get on your bike come up here it is beautiful i hope these tips helped you in cold weather running uh yeah i feel comfortable i'm a little sweatier than i want to be but hey that was a good time and uh until next video adios